Hello everyone, Cheshire the Cat on the scene, back with more Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Let's see if we're done investigating here for now. Ain't out here yet, there's still stuff to investigate. Nope! So... What else is there to investigate? Like real talk. Whoa. Maybe after I talk to her and help her calm down? Forget about it. Yeah, now we got that evidence. I'm remembering it again. I wonder if they censored that in the US release. Become one of his moderators. Celeste is a super amazing, awesome streamer. And if I have a mo if I do have a moderator in chat, can we give Celeste a shout out for a favor? She is an awesome streamer and an amazing friend of mine as well. Waste of time, there's not a whole lot I can do about that anyway. Those cameras are all over the place. Wanna come? Okay. So looking party dishes. Oh, thank you, that's so sweet. No, you and Aries are the sweethearts. I, I didn't mean to investigate the table twice. There's nothing much out of the ordinary. The air conditioner? A remote controlled air conditioner. Huh? Air conditioner? Could it be? Hey, all of you, why can't you act a little more grown up? Hmm, what was that sound just now? Oh! It's probably the only machine inside this room. So the air conditioner is remote control. The timer is set to 11.30 p.m. Pretty sure Byakuya's time of death was around the same time. So that means the mechanical sound before the blackout, it probably came from the air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. Okay, so someone set up the air conditioner to go off and it caused a power outage. Okay, okay, it's starting to come together, but I really think it was Byakuya who was planning to kill somebody. Oh, what else should I investigate? Hajime. Hajime. Have a moment? Hmm? What is it? Hey. When we're finished with the investigation here, we'd like to hear what everyone has to say together. If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer, so it can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> eh, you're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings towards Hope's Peak Academy, isn't that right? Yeah, but... Fine. If we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. Thanks. I'm glad. It'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar. I don't think I agree. Now then. I guess for now, we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall. I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout took place at the time. The time would have happened throughout this entire building. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Hey, Hibuki. What'd I you get? See, Apparently, a great man once said, investigations should be done on foot. Yes. So that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. God, you're adorable. Well, if there's no reason, then there's no meaning. Hey, hey, Hajime, I just realized something. Did you by any chance know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, how was serious? Eh? How'd you know? So you did hear us. Even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> <laughs> Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, damn right, but I also have perfect ears. I mean, you meow like a cat, so... Hi, I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. hey, when the blackout happened, could you hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? Just leave it to Ibuki! It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy! Huh? <laughs> la la la! I'll hardly eat it for breakfast! I see. Oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie? Except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of... heavy. 
Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. She would should make a metaphor with more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, can, anyway, can you tell us what you heard? Leave it to me. I'm gonna take a bite out of you. Oh God, please. Yep. If you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. Stop it. What if she takes you seriously? Let's see. The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... That's right. It was Mahiru. It's a blackout. Next, it was Kazuichi's voice. And then the next voice was mine. Next, next voice was mine. I can't see anything. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. <laughs> yeah, what a nice remark I made. It's to the point. Fine, and it has its own unique charm. Just continue. And there were more voices, one after another. Everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? Togami. This is... Ow! Nagito. Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Me. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Hi, Terry. Terry was in the kitchen when it happened. Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me. Give me lots of praise. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Editor, don't do anything. 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 Don't 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 do anything. There we go. All the praise. Yes. I'm okay with that. And give him back. Cuz I got to show it to her. Mine. <laughs> I have to laugh in here somewhere. I did the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagito, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Byakuya said during the blackout. What Byakuya said? Hey. Why do you say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And this, this is. What do you mean? About that. Why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Anyway, don't I think Kabuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yes! Then praise me! Let me bite ya! Ouch! Why are you really biting me? Hmm, kinky. Meow. Okay, Ibuki best girl, hands down. Um, um there's something I want to ask you. Hmm? What is it? Um, it is strange. It no? appears that only. that only. wall is different color and material. Why is that? Perhaps. Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Hmm? You've never seen one before? It's a door that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? Wow. I see. It's like a barrier. Just like lining up plastic bottles around a house. That's only done to keep cats from getting in. Now that I know about keeping, you know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I am ashamed. Truly, I'm culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Fire door. Yeah. But what does that have to do with anything? Yeah, there was an item missing from the kitchen. That might be part of the... Knife that was there earlier. 
Yaki must have confiscated all the dangerous items on the Kitchen's equipment list. Well, just from reading through this list, looks like the knife next to Yakio's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how'd the killer get past Yakio's body check? That's weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat downs. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. These iron plates for barbecuing, even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I agree. Hmm. Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Teru Teru? The blackout totally startled me! At first I thought it was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. Then I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. But that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Ah, that's impossible. This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it directly affected the blackout. I see, so I guess that's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you might be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. Hmm. Hmm. Is there really anything more to this? A bone, too. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? That meat is so big, even I was shocked. Yeah. It's a dish fit for a tropical island. I'll never be able to get meat like this in Aoyama or Azabu. I'd never be able to get a cut of meat like this in my home down, much less Aoyama or Azabu. I get it, you don't have to repeat yourself, but it's so big, where did you get it? I asked Nikamaru. Apparently he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands? <laughs> it's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Seriously, Nekamaru is so wild. He's totally right at home in the country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown isn't near Ao is near Aoyama and Azabu. It's wild country, things like that. They slip my mind a lot, you know? Man. I guess that this meat has gone to waste since this awfulness happened right when the party started. The only ones who ate any food were Kane and Peko, who took some portions for herself. Yeah. Don't say that. After worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them? The well, it's not like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer out there... <laughs> ah, I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer! He's scary when he's mad. Well, I suppose, yeah, the food got wasted. Because, well, it's not like anybody's in a hurry to eat now. You're nice, right. let's get going. Yeah, sure thing. Hmm. I want to check out the storeroom as long as I'm in this part of it. <sighs> the storage room, it's all dusty and dark. Wow. My hands are full of cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Tablecloths? A stack of clean tablecloths. Looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved Perhaps. in here. Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth. Wait, huh? Hold on, there's something on it. Is this a blood stain? Huh? Eh? A blood stain? Come here, take a closer look. It's too dark. I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a blood stain. Which means this tablecloth is connected to Byakuya's murder, right? If that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain. Hmm. Wow. My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. 
There's an awful lot of boxes. We didn't have time to go through each and every one of them. I guess I should yep. leave them alone. A wise decision. I don't remember those irons being here. Hmm? Are these irons? It looks like they were recently turned on, but why are these irons on the ironing board? Just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. I was looking for Byaku after the blackout. I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. But doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Irons in the storage room. Hajime. Hajime, how much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Hmm? Oh, I get it. You're right. Still... I really am theorizing, too. Byakuya planning on killing somebody? And then whoever it was just got to him first. Huh? It's locked. One of your seen sides. It's the unisex bathroom. I don't know who's actually hey! in there. Who's in there? I tried calling out to whoever's on the other side, but there's no response. This is going nowhere. I should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. Well, there's still the office. Yeah. How'd you the old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Huh? It might be related to the blackout. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker crew first. Mm. I'm gonna check this out instead. The Durlumen case. It should contain all the dangerous items Yakuya collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside, just to be safe. But it's locked. Yakuya had the key to this particular Durlumen case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me, so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take the key without permission? Oh, no. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. See? See? It's open! Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside the case. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Because the key to the case was inside the case Byakuya had with him. I guess you're right about that. Mm. Must be the old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. Hmm. It doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you won't reach mm. it. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad that I forgot about that, but... You're right, even with a stepladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout. But who? I did it! Whoa. Ah, it's here! Actually, you idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way... Ah, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the circuit breaker. The killer did that, of course. But... How does someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, my body stretches. You know, you know, I'm very elastic. I won't be Liar! I'm serious. Want to see? Want to see a full version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. No thanks. Just imagining it makes me want to puke. Oh really? Such a shame. So Still, cool. don't you think Monokuma is such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker. Well, in that case, I'm convinced there's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it or set it to be tripped. Except they did. So the officer, huh? The timer here is set to 11:30 p.m. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining room? Oh, also set for the same time? It can't be a coincidence, right? Both AC timers being set for the same time. This was planned. 
Like some part of this was planned. Is this the desk staff use for busy work? Hmm? There's nothing particular that catches my eye. Other than the fact that the lamp is on. Maybe. Hey, isn't Pico the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Byaku after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but when I got here, she was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loudly or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Pico's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Byakuya. Hey. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. But there's a truth to that. Somehow I doubt it though. I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during the time Byaki was killed, the circuit breaker was in this office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait! Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. So I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? Were you supposed to guard the circuit breaker in the dual lumen case with it? So where'd you run off to on your own? Well, that is... Ugh. Ugh. He just suddenly dropped to a knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? N no, I'm just not feeling too well, but... Excuse me! What the heck? Excuse me, what was that? Pico, it appears the bathroom inside the old building is currently occupied, so... I recommend either the hotel, lobby, or your cottage. Huh? Seems like it'll be a tough path! With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pico wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? Um, it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I'm already feeling bad enough for Pico as it is. Hmm? What does that mean? I mean, is it cool? Didn't she, like, run away or something? Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Hmm, is that really what it is? Poor girl's got a case of the squites. Now then. now then, I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. Hmm. Yep. Okay, looks like you pretty much finished looking around the old hey. building. So how about we check out Byakuya's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to check it out just in case. I'm scared we might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but... Aren't you worried about the possibility that hey. I might be in danger? You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this, this so we can live, you know. As I thought, you sure are strong. You are definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. Alright All right, then, let's get going. To Byakuya's Cottage. Y yeah! I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. I think there was a strange scene unfolding before me. What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Hmm. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? Come here. Why is my phone going nuts now? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? Oh. If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought it was important to check it. I see. See, under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid out didn't reach the table where we found Byakuya's body, right? The dining floor hall had huge gaps between floorboards. Then is it possible that the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Yep. 
That's what I thought. So I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well? Hmm, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Wow. No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't get under the floor from outside the building. <laughs> that's a relief. Relief? Why? Because if you could get under the floor from outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The one person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. Oh right, Fuyuhiko. I suspected him too. That's why I'm checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well? Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. Huh? He did. Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Huh? huh? Oh, hey! What are you doing here? All alone in a place like this. Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. <laughs> How diligent of you. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no! Not even if you paid me! Parties are stupid! They make me want to puke! You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course you... not! I was just going for a damn walk! What? Do I have to report every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... Hm. Then leave me alone! He's a cute baby. And then he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Huh? When do we start talking about video games? Hmm. Jackie's account has been added to the truth. I see. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking, we don't have any reason to I'm doubt glad. him. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. <laughs> well, I guess for now I should stick to the plan and head over to Biakia's uh, cottage. Uh, as long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice! I will most assuredly reclaim the Hellhound earring with my own two hands! It seems he has no intention of investigating. Speaking of... What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? It's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did! Apparently the Byakuya is the one who got killed. So, what? What did you say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Whatever. Just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Huh? huh? Checking my alibi, eh? Hmm. Well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Shiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! Tch, nosy bitch. Jeez. It's true I went for a little walk, and then just by chance I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Why the hell would I want to do that? It's a coincidence! A coincidence! Alright, I got it. Hm. Gotta love how ridiculous these characters get at times. Welcome back, Roy. Humph, dumbass! I'm loving <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> Alright, where's Fatty's cottage? Uh do, 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 do. Have I made it obvious enough that I'm not a fan of Byakuya? Huh? It's locked. Okay. Hmm, I guess we need to ask him for help. So now I'm Gito to get deep breath. Hey! Hey! Monokuma! Did you call me? Yay! Did you call me? Nagito? When did you train Monokuma? Hey, hey Monokuma. I was wondering if you can do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> yeah, when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. What? I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. 
it would be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Byakuya's cottage already. Well, this is for the class trial. It's something we really need. For the class trial? Hmm, if it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, the only only one spell that can open these doors. See, I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why does it open with a magic spell? It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should go inside then. Yeah, I guess you're right. Of course, this is going to be the first thing I see. There's an envelope on the table. Tobiakia took me. There's some to Byakuya? That's weird. There's no sender. This looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. Hajime, would you check what's inside? Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Be careful. Huh? Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. This is... Is this a crime warning? No, if it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe. This is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party? Huh. The first kill will happen tonight. Because someone made this threat to Byakuya, he gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. Or he made a fake letter so that he could have an excuse. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Remember what Byakuya kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook the slim possibility just to keep his promise? Then why did he keep it a secret? If he had just told us, nope. he probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. Right, pointing out the threat would just make everyone panic. What do you mean? If everyone knew what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other, and at that point there'd be no turning back. So Byakuya tried to do something about all this by himself without telling anyone? His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. <sighs> anyway... Whoever sent the letter also killed him, is that what you're saying? Sorry. No. This could be a prank, and it might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death at all. What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see. He doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But still... We've come all this way and here, and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakuya. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakuya would react once he received it, right? It planned to manipulate Byakuya and killed him right before our eyes, in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? Hey. Hajime, there's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Probably. <laughs> Which reminds me, you asked Mahiru for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted her to come. I wanted her to find out where everybody was standing during the blackout. She's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry. Sorry, that's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I like time to collect my thoughts. I see. I understand. Hey. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. I'll see you later. All right, Captain Marshmallow Fluff. He's pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. Now's not the time to worry about Nagito. There's not much time left. I better hurry over to the old building. Monokuma doll? Monokuma doll? Monokuma doll! I knew it! <laughs> oh god, one of my friends is killed and another one's a murderer and there's a threatening letter and ooh, Monokuma doll. <laughs> Glad to know that I've got my priorities in order. 
And hey, it looks like we'll be able to investigate that further in the next episode. Until then, I'll see you guys in the old building. For now, this is Cheshire the Cat, signing off. What are you looking at, rabbit?